How do you kind of sum up this weekend? I think we learned a lot about our team, you know. Um, it was a good weekend. It could have been a great one, uh, but it was a good weekend. And obviously today's results weren't what we wanted. Uh, not even close, honestly. But um, again, I, I, I told this, the team this after yesterday's game. It's like there's there's a lot of little plays within the game that, you know, can define you and kind of define the game. And um, thought it was the same way in this one today. I felt like we had some opportunities early to kind of put our stamp on the game and didn't do it. Uh, and against a good team like that, you don't you don't want to give them free bases, and that's what we did. What do you think Caleb ends up learning from today? Well, you know, I mean, he, he's got to have two, he's got to have secondary pitches. I mean, that, that's the thing. I mean, he had his fastball going. He got a punch out. Um, thought he made his pitch to Calarco. Um, made a good pitch. It got jammed, you know, and that's what a good hitter just find a way to get the ball, you know, where he needs to get it in, in that spot, and just put the ball in play. He's got to have a slider, a changeup, or something else. Uh, to put him away with. You talk about moments that define the game. Everyone will look at that first inning. What, what were some other moments that stood out? Well, I, I felt like we had a chance, you know, maybe for a dirt ball read right there at the beginning of that game to kind of just, and we did it later in the game, you know, and it kind of helped set up an inning where Kerry gets a hit right behind that. We had an opportunity to put some runners in motion. We just didn't, we didn't, we weren't aggressive that way to do that. Um, and you can't you can't be passive that way, you know. I mean, we've been we've been pretty good at that. There's been some things we've covered up also because we've been really good offensively. Um, so I thought, you know, we he had some three-two counts early. I mean, he threw 30 pitches in the first inning. Their starter did, and we left the zone a couple of times. And I feel like that could have been a big inning for us. Um, but you know, he got out of it. He made some pitches. Give credit to him. How's Garrett? Uh, don't know. I mean, he's he's going to probably be out for a while. He's got a hammy that's that's bothering him. So. I feel like you guys responded after the first inning. Well, I mean, I, we got within 8-4. Uh, you know, Max lines out on a 3-2 pitch. Could it, get, the ball gets down the right field line. We score another run. Who knows what's going to happen in that inning. Um, you know, and then obviously we scored the, the runs to get back in it, to get it to 8-4, eight, eight to four, and then we walked the leadoff hitter. You know, I mean, it just, we didn't pitch well out of the pen. Early thoughts for Tuesday? Is it too soon to talk? Yeah, we didn't see Brockett today, so pretty good chance you got a guy like him with, with some experience that probably have a chance to start Tuesday. I, I could ask you just about being at home in general, but how about being at home and having Mike Anderson you yeah. know, in the other dugout? How, what's that moment going to be? Yeah, like? kind of kind of weird for me. Just you know, he was my hitting coach for four years. He's a mentor of mine. I mean, he gave me a shot to, to get into coaching. So look forward to seeing him and, and uh, competing with with him uh, on Tuesday.